Hi everyone, welcome to episode number four. Today we're going to focus on the reverse corner and taking the ball short. Last episode we spoke about the cross court, which is the fundamental shot in opening up the court to attack your opponent's front corner when you move them off their tee position. My favorite shot going short would be the reverse corner. The reverse corner is essentially hitting the ball into the side wall and then onto the front wall. A couple of key things to focus on while hitting the reverse corner. You want to focus on the angle and not keeping it tight to the tin. The closer to the front wall that you hit the ball onto the side wall is the most important aspect of the shot as it creates a sharper angle for your opponent. The common misconception here is lower is better. I personally find hitting the right angle is much more beneficial. You might not win the point right away, but it definitely sets you up for that next one-two punch. If the angle is missed, but still hit close enough to the corner, the ball tends to funnel back into the middle, also causing an awkward angle for your opponent. Hit the ball flat as you would with the cross court. If you try and cut the ball like you would with the singles ball, it tends to sit up and put you and your partner under pressure. If you hit the correct angle, your opponent is going to be at a stretch while approaching and hitting the ball. The most common response from your opponent in this situation would be a cross court. Be ready to play the one-two punch and keep the pressure on. Strategically, your opponent's partner watching his partner at a stretch will start gravitating to the other back corner to cover the next ball. The right response to the one-two punch would be dropping the ball into the other front corner, using the side wall to take some pace off the ball. Advanced players, if you trust your control, you can hit a reverse corner, bringing the ball back to this desired front corner. Working on the reverse is a great way to warm up and work on your ball control. If hit well, it should bounce twice before coming back to you. You can then either wait for it to hit the side wall before hitting another reverse. Taking the ball in short directly to the front wall has its challenges. If it's not hit perfectly to catch the nick, the ball tends to sit up and jump off off the floor, giving your opponents umpteen options. As you get used to the ball, I highly recommend keeping your swing consistent with that of a rail and cross court, keep accelerating through, and use the sidewalls to take some pace off the ball going short. This is going to be pretty tough to catch on video using examples, but I'll do my best. For today's episode, I have pulled up the final of the 2019 MFS Pro-Am in Boston. In the white, we have Will Mariani and Jim Bamber, and in the black, we have John Russell and Chris Gallus. This first example encompasses almost everything explained earlier. As this clip starts, Will is taking the ball short into Chris's front corner. Missing the nick, the ball stays up, but puts enough pressure on Chris to force a cross court. Will, with the opening he's created, realizes John is out of position, and to attack John's front corner, he plays a reverse. Great shot, which Chris has to defend and lob. Again, Will's instinct is to attack Chris, since he's out of position, but if you notice, John starts moving back diagonally and his front corner would be open as both Chris and John are moving to the back right. The second clip is a little advanced but extremely effective. John has hit a cross court to Jim. The angle is great, but being a little short, Jim has moved backwards and hit the ball off his back foot. As he is pulled back, he suddenly noticed Chris's position moving back as well upon which he throws in the reverse corner, coming back to the front right. For those of you who are new to the game, wait till you have your momentum moving forwards before you hit the reverse. This third example for today shows Jim using the left side wall to bring the ball back to Chris's front corner instead of going directly to the front corner and hitting a cross court drop. A little higher than he would have liked, but he created a ton of movement if you notice how it pulls both John and Chris forward in the court. Lastly, in this example, John, right of his serve, pushes Will to the back left. Will's serve return stays a little short, John ensures he gets behind the ball and positions his shoulders accordingly to open his hips and create the angle to hit the reverse. Similar to the previous example, beginners, you want to ensure hitting your reverse off the front foot. 
When the ball is behind you, it naturally forces you to cut the ball, which tends to lift the ball and create openings for your opponents. And that's a wrap for episode number four. There was a lot in there, so feel free to reach out to me with additional questions and I'm happy to explain further. Uh, drop me a comment, please share the video, and I will see you next week for episode number five. Have a great day.